two cowboys, Tony Rigatoni and his brother Penny, reminisce about the old neighborhood and Mama's famous cooking. As they start to satisfy their hunger, they are greeted by an unwelcome guest, the notorious outlaw, Angel Hair of the Barilla family. In a flash, the bastardo who shot Penny vanished into the night. Rigatoni yells out a banshee call for his dying brother. No! With grief and vengeance as his weapons, Rigatoni runs down every associate of Angel Hair. His rage was as bad as someone calling it sauce instead of gravy. His anger was as bad as someone called a Taylor ham instead of pork roll. His grief was as deep as the land fills of Staten Island. That's what it felt like to watch his brother die. Tony Rigatoni is coming and hell is coming with them. After hunting down every last one of Angel Hare's goombas, Rigatoni found himself in a rundown saloon. He was now face to face with his brother's killer, Angel Hare. Angel Hare laughed at the memory of his dead brother and said that his mother's gravy was worse than Pizza Hut's. The vengeful cowboy snapped at the outlaw. Jumping from his chair, he screamed, Why, you pizza rolling son of a gun? But before he could finish, Angel Hare challenged Tony to a showdown. Rigatoni accepts. The fateful day arrived and Angel Hare impatiently waited for Rigatoni at the forgotten Burrow Bridge. To Angel Hare's surprise, the cowboy before him wasn't Tony Rigatoni. Instead, it was his dead brother Penny, one of the fastest Italians on this side of the Hudson River. I thought you passed away. How about we settle what you started? Fight's not with you. Say when, said Penny. You can only do so much. As the smoke clears, Tony Rigatoni makes his way across the bridge. He stares in disbelief before he reunites with his thought-to-be-dead brother. As they walk off into the sunset, Tony thanks his brother for his help. A simple response is returned. Oh, forget about it. 